One of the biggest mysteries within Breath of the Wild, or I should say two, is the missing regards of Ganondorf and the Triforce. While we have the answer to one of those mysteries leading up to Breath of the Wild 2 in the form of Ganondorf's decrepit corpse, the mystery of the Triforce still eludes us. However, thanks to some new footage from Breath of the Wild 2 and the drastic and heavy connections that this could tell us, I've got a theory on the whereabouts of the Triforce and how it was unleashed in order to cover up the past. Hey guys, HMK here once again with another Zelda 3 relating to Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2, the future, and the past. This is a big one that can answer a ton of questions. So be sure to like, share, and most worry subscribe to HMK. Let's strap on in for the safety of hype and dive directly into the noise. First things first, I know what you're thinking. Wasn't the Triforce in Breath of the Wild 1? We saw the mark on Zelda's hand whenever she uses her sealing power. Well, to keep it short for the sake of this theory, I do believe that is not the Triforce, rather Zelda tapping into the power of the Triforce. As in past Zelda games, we've seen those with the full Triforce mark on the back of their hands that don't have the Triforce on their person. With the case of Adventure of Link and Scoured Sword before Link was able to find the Triforce towards the end of the game. And with the immense power that the Triforce itself has as the essence of the gods, I would hate for it to be regulated to that of a sealing agent. Now onto the truth within this theory. As we all know, in past Zelda games, the Triforce parts either find their way to the hosts of those that reflect the virtue the most in their hearts, or is hidden among the world for Link and others to find. In Breath of the Wild, none of these cases came true, and that is because the Triforce wasn't up for grabs. The Triforce of Courage never made its way to Link in Breath of the Wild because it still belonged to someone else. It didn't belong to Link, our Link. Rather, it was used for a purpose, a purpose that will both hide away its existence and not destroy it, which we all know would lead to the imminent decay of Hyrule. The Triforce of Courage was still with Link for a long past age, this Link from the tapestry of the Great Calamity, as many believed with his hand still glowing gold. This Link, who was aware of the cycle of destruction that the Curse of Demise inflicted upon Hyrule, sought to find a way to lock Ganondorf and stop him literally in his tracks, knowing that this could be the only way in order to ensure a long period of peace. This Link used the Triforce of Courage to lock Ganondorf and his Triforce of Power in suspended animation, knowing that if Ganondorf died that the Triforce of Power would simply be up for grabs for a potential new evil to rise up and that Ganondorf himself would just reincarnate to find it again. So to kill two birds with one stone, or rather three, this was the ultimate sacrifice to rid two Triforce parts from the world. As thanks to the Triforce parts of courage and power, they would both be still alive in a sense. Thereby trapping those Triforce parts within them under the ground. Now this theory can work both ways in Link giving up his entire being in order to become the arm, the lock to Ganondorf, or perhaps Link simply cut off his own arm with the Triforce still intact within it. And funny enough, we've seen something similar to this in the Twilight Princess manga. Which by the way is non-canon but is an incredible read, I suggest that you go check it out. And when it comes to the Triforce of Courage's own mystical properties, it could act and would act as a sufficient lock to Ganondorf and his Triforce of Power. As the Triforce of Courage, truly embodying courage, gives Link a collection of defensive properties and restorative abilities, also granting selective invulnerability to other mystical elements, including that of darkness. Some would say that the Triforce of Courage acts as the ultimate defense to the Triforce of Power's offense. However, due to the Triforce of Courage's own properties, it would be completely invulnerable to any attempt that the Triforce of Power or Ganondorf would use to break the lock. However, it could not stop the malice from pouring through from Ganondorf's being, which would explain the existence of the Calamity in Breath of the Wild. And this is all due to the mark of Link's new arm, the arm of a previous Link, but this mark isn't quite the mark of the Triforce. It's in the right position and glows with a golden sheen, but just because this isn't the mark of the Triforce doesn't mean the Triforce wasn't there at one point. It's the ancient mark of where the Triforce once was. It belonged to that arm, the arm of a past Link. But since Ganondorf awakened in Breath of the Wild 2, the arm had no choice but to break the Triforce of Courage and disperse it around the world to keep it out of its grasp in an act of desperation. This leads to the journey of Breath of the Wild 2, 
Link, using the arm as a guide to seek out the missing pieces of the Triforce of Courage once again within the familiar accents of the sky. And just like the Triforce of Power, the Triforce of Courage kept the arm alive in order to stay as the lock to Ganondorf. But without the Triforce, the arm would need a host to live off their life force. Enter the Link of our time. That's why this arm made a connection to replace Link's possibly damaged arm and also act as a guide to these missing Triforce pieces. And this would even hearken to the previous theory of Zelda channeling the power of the Triforce within herself from a distant location, this arm would have lingering remnants of what the Triforce of Courage could bestow upon Link utilizing new powers that could possibly also restore the Master Sword and Phi from their severely damaged state. And that connection is very apparent since this arm belonged to a former Link that is why Link is still able to wield the Master Sword with this different arm because it was an arm of a Link past who would possibly know the secrets in restoring the Master Sword. But what awakened all of this? It was indeed Zelda, using the Triforce's power, specifically the Triforce of Wisdom in order to seal the Calamity Ganon. By doing this, a connection between the multiple Triforce pieces acted as both a trigger and a call-in to begin this new game as the Triforce pieces do resonate with one another. And once a connection is established, the pieces will do whatever it takes in order to become whole again. Indeed, as the Triforce of Wisdom would be the only thing to shake up the lock that the Triforce of Courage had on the Triforce of Power. And this calling is what led Link and Zelda down to Ganondorf's corpse in the first place. And now thanks to this list of events, the Triforce has once again become unleashed upon the world. And after racing against time to find all these missing pieces of the Triforce of Courage, it could finally be time to settle the score with Ganondorf once and for all. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think about this theory in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts and the theories there while you like, share, and most probably subscribe to HMK for more Zelda videos every week. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, check out the info in the description box below. Alright guys, until the next Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 theory, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.